32 degrees is your temperature in Springfield. If you're leaving right now, obviously you want the thicker jacket and certainly uh, you're going to want the rain gear. Not raining now, but it is going to pour out as we go into the afternoon. So rain developing between about 10 a.m. and noontime. Then after that, it's going to ramp up for this afternoon. Heaviest rain, 1, 2 o'clock, probably through at least the evening commute. Uh, where we could pick up one to two inches of rainfall. That's the time frame where the bulk of the rain is going to uh, fall. After that, it will it'll still be raining, but it'll taper off to more showery type rains. And the wind has the potential to gust between 40 and 50 miles per hour later this afternoon into the evening. And we can't rule out an isolated strong thunderstorm as well, where you enhance perhaps some of those strong gusty winds this afternoon and evening. So you put that all together, obviously it's going to lead to huge puddles on the roadways this afternoon. And we have the potential for isolated to scattered power outages as well. Well, of course, one thing that we have going for us, as opposed to maybe just a few weeks ago, is there's no leaves on the trees. But still, when you have winds gusting up to about 50, that can lead to maybe some branches down or perhaps a weakened tree as well. Now, as the kids head off to school this morning, it's dry and chilly. Temperatures are inching up through the 30s. As they're heading home, it'll be pouring out with temperatures generally in the 50s at that point, And the wind will start to ramp up as well. The wind advisory for uh, Western Mass for Hamlin County anyway, set to go into effect at 3 o'clock this afternoon. So 30s and 40s across southern New England. Let me just go back here. You can see the temperature in New Haven is 50, Chatham 50 degrees. We actually have a fairly mild air mass, but with clear skies for a while last night, we're able to cool off pretty efficiently. So that's why we're in the 20s and 30s now. But temperatures will come up steadily this morning and as we go into the afternoon, especially once that wind starts to ramp up, that's going to bring in those mild temperatures later this afternoon and the evening. The areas that you see shaded here in that light brown, that's where we have that wind advisory. And we actually have a high wind warning for eastern parts of Massachusetts, the Cape and the Island. On that one to five scale, let's put today's trash can wind meter at a three, maybe even a four. Uh, so, yeah, it's really going to be strong, the wind. So, you know, if you have outdoor Christmas uh, ornaments, things of that nature, either bring them in or just make sure they're tied down with those gusty winds for this afternoon. You can see the moisture extends from the Ohio River Valley all the way down, really, uh, to the uh, off the North Carolina coast, and that is just that conveyor belt of moisture that's going to stream in here later this afternoon as we go into the evening. Area of low pressure tracks to our west. That brings our winds in out of the south, so we're on the warm side of this storm system all the way up into central and northern New England. This is going to be a rainstorm. Meanwhile, on the back side of it, we have the snow from Cleveland to Cincinnati all the way down into uh, the mountains of the Appalachian Mountains where they'll have the snow out of this system. I think the rain for us will taper to showers tonight, and then we'll actually see a little sun tomorrow. The wind will swing around into the southwest and will begin to dry things out for tomorrow. Look how cold it is across uh, the northern part of the country. Not unusual. Bismarck at 12, but look how uh, mild it is from Washington, D.C. down towards uh, Florida. That's the mild air that's going to be streaming right up along the eastern seaboard with that heavy rainfall this afternoon. So at noontime, the rain's starting to move in. It's ramping up this afternoon into the evening. The oranges and yellows indicating the moderate to heavy rainfall. And then after about 7 or 8 o'clock, it'll still be raining, but it'll be more showery in nature as we begin to dry things out. Tomorrow, clouds, a little bit of sunshine, still breezy, but not, winds won't be as strong. Temperatures start in the 50s and slide in the afternoon, maybe a spot rain or snow shower Wednesday. And then the rest of the week right now looks dry. We'll keep our eye on Friday, but most indications are that system will pass out to sea as we head into December. All right, that's your forecast for now. We'll be back in a few minutes. Jordan, back.